One of the most thrilling side effects of streaming in India has been the rise of a parallel star system. Artists who couldn't break through the more rigid, aesthetic, nepotistic or box office requirements of mainstream cinema have been able to prove their prowess in serialized storytelling. Think of Jaydeep Ahlawat in Patal Lo, or Prati Gandhi in Scam 1992, or Ishwak Singh in Rocket Boys, or that slew of once reigning female actors who've now re-established their careers, Madhuri Dixit, Sushmita Sen, Ravina Tandon, Lara Datta, and now finally there is recognition for the blazingly talented Rajshree Deshpande. Rajshree plays Neelam Krishnamurthy in the new Netflix series Trial by Fire. Neelam and her husband Shekhar lost their teenage children in the horrific 1997 Uphar Theatre fire. This series is based on their book of the same name. Their son and daughter went to enjoy the latest blockbuster J.P. Datta's Border and never came back. The couple spent the next two decades fighting in courts against the powerful Uphar owners, the Ansals, and crusading for justice. Neelam is powered by righteous rage and unimaginable grief. Instead of being consumed by her tragedy, she uses it as fuel to fight tirelessly against a system that is built to silence ordinary middle-class people like her. As Neelam, Rajshri is devastating. She plays this heroic mother with minimal drama. Instead, the loss and pain become like a second skin. It's in her eyes, in her determined walk and in the way in which she stares at a fumbling lawyer who asks what he should do and just says, Parva kare. Rajshree purposely didn't meet Neelam until the shoot was done. When Neelam saw the series, she told Rajshree, Tum mujse mili bhi nahi aur tumne mujhe kaise dhoond liya. It's only January, but I have little doubt that this is one of the year's best performances. Rajshree comes from Aurangabad. Her father was a cotton farmer who then became a clerk. It's taken her more than 10 years to get a lead role in a major project. You might recognize her from her terrific work in The Fame Game or Sacred Games or Angry Indian Goddesses or the controversial Malayalam indie as Durga. But despite the obvious talent, she was unable to break through. When I asked her about the long journey, she just said, I went through tons of auditions and tons of rejections. I never said no to anything, but the opportunities were very less. She said, I always felt I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not tall enough. The only thing I had was my craft. Happily, that craft is now being acknowledged and applauded. Rajshree is elated with the feedback on the series, but she's still unsure of where all of this might go. She told me the industry still needs time to think. They still go for the star system, for influencers, for followers. I hope people don't stereotype me. In any case, I'm not in a hurry. I want to breathe in each and every character. She said my motto in life is keep exploring and keep learning. And she added, I'm really excited about how the future will unfold for me. I hope the future includes a ton of strong roles. The Indian entertainment industry can only benefit from more Rajshree.